So we have a successful parachute uh, opening, which is good. That means Luke hasn't died. And, oop, warning, using the physics, oh, whatever. I understand that. And remember, this is a fresh install, so it's giving me all the warnings. Uh, but Luke seems, it's hard to tell with the reflections going on. Oh, there goes the booster. Uh, it's hard to s tell with the reflections, but I'm pretty sure he's quite happy. Is he? Let's, let's look inside. Yeah, he has no idea what's going on. He could just see blue. And uh, you know what? He's, he's probably quite happy for all of that uh, overall. But now that we're in the water, we're going to... Uh, did I already crew report? Okay, we did crew report, so I want to transmit that. Which is going to use a lot of our electrical charge, which is fine. And we're going to crew report again. We're going to keep the data. We're going to EVA. And we want to... Oh yeah, he's gonna go for a nice little swim. EVA report, and we're actually gonna take a water sample here. Keep data, we're gonna get back onto it, board it, and recover it all at once. Boom, that is efficiency right there. We got a ton of reputation, ton of funds, and everything else, but most importantly, we can start unlocking some important things here. So we got some life support, some landing gear, which is important. The more parts that you recover, the more money you get back, which is really, really nice. As you can imagine, we have some batteries that may help uh, better parachutes, maybe some more life support stuff, uh, radial decouplers, and some other stuff. However, before we do any of that, we're going to go over here, and we have all of these things to test. So we can we can test this liquid fuel engine in flight over Kerbin, which is fine. There's some things here we have to do it between 8,100 meters and 15,800 meters. So we have to also be at a certain speed. So we can accept the contract to test that. Uh, we can test that. So if it says in flight over, it means you have to test it within a certain altitude. Um, if it says on Kerbin, then you have to do it on the ground. So if I got a, a contract to test a parachute on the ground, we would have to just launch it just while we're on the landing pad, and it would give us stuff for that. So uh, test the Sepatron while in flight over Kerbin. Cool. Okay. See, so test the stacked coupler landed at Kerbin in flight over Kerbin and solid fuel booster in flight over Kerbin. All right, let's back this up, and we're just going to make a, a quick little test unit here. So the way I want to do this is basically I'm just going to take these off. Uh, I'm not going to need a parachute, but what I will need is... Oh, gosh, what do I need that for? You can check your contracts down at the bottom right with the newest update. Liquid fuel engine in flight, in flight, in flight, in flight in flight landed okay so the stack decoupler so we need to test the this one right which we already have on here which is fine so what we're gonna do is i'm actually just gonna do this i'm gonna put the decoupler down there and um how do i want to do this let's just make like a little platform for it just just for reality's sake so we're just gonna launch like so uh, we are going to use Jebediah as our astronaut, I'm pretty sure. And that's all set up, so we're just going to launch, and we're just going to complete this contract. It's super easy. We spent a little bit of money putting the, you know, the stuff on here, but I, like I said, I want to make it quite a lot more realistic. Well, we tested it, and we got completion for it. <laughs> it was a bit explosive, so now we know ahead of time. So on this screen, when you're testing things, you can see things as experimental, which is supposed to mean that they are uh, not necessarily the most reliable thing ever, right? But what we want to do is we want to collect a little bit more science and stuff. We're, we're going to need some more money here shortly. Uh, I should also point out that you can actually complete all of the science tree in like two missions which we're totally not going to do um, because I think that's not fun and it doesn't really honor the, the story that I've come up with. You know, they're constantly testing things because they want to want to see what's the best. They're trying to do this for the betterment of all Kerbins, even the Naturians, right? 
So I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cheat it out. And I do want to experiment with these because I think it's a fun little thing that they've added into the game. So we want to test the parachute. That's fine. So we want to make sure we have one of these on there. So that's fine. We got that good. Um, the liquid fuel engine we can test, which is this one, right? The T45. Yep. So we need to do that between 10,000 and 18,900 meters. So we could try that. Um, let's do a stack decoupler and let's put a single fuel tank with the whoops this liquid fuel engine so we're gonna test that uh, between 10,000 and 18,000 like I said and then we want to test this one between 8,100 and 15,000 so what was that one 10,000 18,000 okay so we can actually now do a stack decoupler with a fuel tank and one of these. We could try that out. We could see how this is gonna launch. And if it doesn't launch well, well then we're we're a little boned. But I think it I think it'll work. It might. It might work. Let's just for the sake of things put some of these on it. Uh, hopefully I won't be going fast enough to rip that off like I did last time and we'll just put a single antenna on. Okay, so let's now go to the the mystery goo. We may as well get it while we're here on the pad, right? Um, we're going to see if this thing even launches. So this is going to be an experiment for Jebediah. He's, he's taking up the lead on this one. Turns out doesn't actually launch us. It's too... It's, it's not enough. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to abort that. He is going to... Um, he's going to then stack to couple... Actually, you know what? He could probably do this. He could shut down engine. He can throttle up. And he can put these both in the same one and hope for the best. There he goes. Okay, he's off. Perfect. So he's been able to test that. He knows that the bottom stage doesn't necessarily work, but... You know, that's the upper stage does, so it may have been a little bit of wasted money, but apparently we tested the stack decoupler while landed, and I never uh, got rid of that, so... Oh, please don't fall off. We can we could probably slow down a bit. We don't need to go that fast, do we? I don't think so. What is the thing for this? Okay, so we've, we've actually completed the contract for this, so... Whoa! Well, that'll happen with Ferrum. And now we know. Uh, we're not nearly going as high as before, which is fine. So, I like how it still shows it on this, even though that sucker is long gone. Just get rid of that, why not? And uh, let's go ahead and parachute while we can. In the meantime, we can crew report. So, keep data, and we can observe mystery goo and get that. Cool, so, unfortunately, May as well just transmit that. Unfortunately, I don't think we achieved what we needed for that. So it was a bit of a bust. Uh, but, you know, we can we can do better. So let's land this sucker. And with a successful landing, we're able to crew report again. We can send that sucker off. Um, we have the space port way off over there, as you can kind of see. Um, we landed, you know, roughly west of it. So we can EVA, we can do the same thing that we've done last time. We'll EVA report, we'll keep that, and we'll take surface sample, keep that, we'll get back in, we'll recover the vessel. With this, uh, we should probably go purchase things, because we have 90 science at this point. So we could start getting useful things. So, uh, you know, that engine is pretty good. I think... I think I want to get the stability enhancer. However, I'm going to go with the wings because that'll help us out quite a bit. The unmanned thing would be quite good. So let's get the batteries first. Um, we have the science junior, so we could get that. We have the better. Uh, well, actually, we can't get any of this because we don't have the points for it. All right, let's let's back up. We have anything here? Test the radial mount parachute in flight. Well, we could try that. Sure. Um, by the way, if you fail these contracts, you actually lose 
your reputation and stuff and you lose money off of it so you got to be kind of careful with what contracts you pick up we'll we'll be a little bit more picky as we get further in so let's modify this to actually work properly so this is what we're going with this time um i think this time though it's uh it's luke's turn he's you know fairly stupid uh, as as a as a you know actually i would say it's not that he's stupid it's just that he's ignorant to the fact that this thing may explode let me put it that way i think that would actually be a better way to put it but we put wings on the bottom that should stabilize us a bit when we launch and we have the radial mount parachutes let's actually figure out when we need to do those um do -do -do. okay so that radial okay so it's between 1400 and 9100 so in fact we're just gonna take those off i think I, uh, uh, what, what's the speed that we need to be going 500 to a thousand Ooh, we're gonna do it let's make sure our staging is correct here by putting our parachutes in the right one uh there's that there's that and that okay so this should all work perfect let's save and launch and do all that fun stuff but what i need to be aware of is i can't turn i can't can't do my gravity turn too early i got to be more careful about that with how quickly i'm going uh so we'll try this we'll launch we'll see if it works to begin with i mean that's kind of a big thing the one that i want to look out for is this one so i need to get between the speed there so between 330 meters uh per second and then 430 and within the altitude range so let's uh let's launch and hope for the best so far, so good. Okay, everything's working. Good. Uh, we are full throttle. And once again, I want to watch my speed here. So I'm going to pull back that throttle a bit because I want to try to reach that, uh, you know, that speed margin and try to get to the same height. And that should complete this contract for us, which we'll desperately need because we're going to be running quite low on funds here if we just keep launching things unsuccessfully without completing contracts but uh we're at the point where we'll get it when we hit the altitude okay so let's get our speed 380 okay that, uh, can we stop okay did it it's it still has not done its thing i don't know why it's not actually giving us it. I'll have to look into that. Either way, let's get rid of that and launch this one. So this time we're going to go this direction. And we have a lot more stable of a craft this time. I say that, but it sounded like something blew up. <laughs> we're good. We're good. It was just awkwardness, I guess, with the uh, system there. So... I don't know if we'll get into orbit. More than likely not. I mean, we could try. But what I really wanted to do is get quite high so I can use this. Will it give me more science? Not enough. So we're just going to go ahead and reset that. Uh, I guess we'll get the science from the water and we'll see if we can get into orbit. All right, I'm definitely not going to make orbit because you need about, you know, 2200 on that. And we're only going 1500, so it's... You know, it's, it's not going to happen, especially with how much fuel we have left. I think if we had boosters at the beginning, we would have been able to get into orbit. Maybe we should actually focus on getting into orbit, uh, aside from doing this, which may be uh, a lot better of an option. But we are going to get quite far around the planet, which is, you know, pretty nice. If we can land on the desert over here, that would be pretty good. I'm just going to burn out the rest of my fuel. Actually, you know what I could do? Let's stop burning for a second. Let's look. We have the first engine. Ugh, we're going way too fast to get that done. And we want to put our top parachute like that. Because the radial mount one, we want to be going 500 to 1,000 meters a second. And we want to slow down a little bit. We should be able to do it. And when we're coming in, we'll adjust our staging, if that is the case. But we may as well just finish off the fuel and then get rid of this sucker. Now, keep in mind, the Naturians believe that all of this fuel that they're burning 
of all the fuel that the Synethians are burning in the atmosphere and letting these fuel tanks go back to the planet is destroying the planet. you got to remember the Naturians are more conservative for life, and they believe that they're just going to... The, the Synethians are just going to destroy all life on the planet. And that's not, you know, that's not good for anybody, right? Because of all the nasty uh, stuff that they're putting into... Ooh! Oh, we almost had it! We almost had it! Oh, that sucks. It was so close. We almost had atmospheric break with that, or, or orbit with that, but uh, it just wasn't meant to be. Maybe if I kept burning, I would have had it. I didn't think about that. Ah, uh, well, poop. Oh, well, let's, let's ditch this fuel. Actually, I can't ditch this fuel tank. I should make sure that I have all this staged correctly. Because I have my radial mounts on the side. That's going to be important to know. All right, let's speed this sucker up. All right, so what it seems like I may have to do is actually just pop them all at once. Because our speed is steadily decreasing. We're within the speed range. We just need to get within the height. Uh, so we need to be within 9,100 meters. I think we could do that. But I'm not entirely sure how successful that'll end up being. So... At least Jebediah can't die. See, this is why Jebediah went and not Luke because it was uh, it could have it could have gone quite poorly for uh, for for Luke. Also, because of Ferrum, it makes it very difficult to flip your craft the right direction. There we go. Oh, uh, whatever. What if we get rid of SAS? Will that help? It does actually, uh, briefly. Until I just go into a mild death spin. Which, oh, we're close. We're so close. There's our... Oh, oh, uh, uh, come on. I want to be facing retrograde. Okay, so whatever. I'll just let it do its thing. And uh, with when we're within the height, which we're almost there. But we're going, oh, we're going too slow now. Ah, that sucks. Okay, well, that's fine. Can we observe Mystery Goo? Is that going to be a thing? We'll get us more. Ah, there we go. Seven. Okay, that's cool. Well, let's uh, let's put our parachutes up here. Okay, this there it goes. And I want to hit this one, which will slow us down. And it looks like we're gonna land somewhere. It's hard to tell because of the cloud cover, but we'll find out here in a second. And touchdown. Nailed it. Is there mystery goo? Yeah, uh, EVA. Let's get surface sample. There we go. Take it and EVA report back in. You do this a lot when you're first starting out and we haven't done a crew report. So we'll do one of those and then we'll recover and we'll see how much science we have. Probably should get the science junior. That'll help out our science a little bit. And I think our next goal is definitely going to be uh, getting into orbit. Do we have any other... Nope. I really have to get rid of some of these. I may have to do them one at a time. But uh, let's start by getting that. That's 45 science down the drain, which is fine. Now we have plenty of things that we can actually do here. So uh, let's start creating a craft, which will get us into orbit. We'll get a ton of science. Once we do that, uh, hopefully we will have finished a couple of these contracts because I only have 6,000 left. I probably should consider maybe focusing on contracts beforehand. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's figure out what to do. I don't know. Maybe we'll just... Uh, we'll focus on one. Let's figure out which one we want to do first.